Hey, Banjophobic here, and I thought I would uh, kind of do a little video to talk about um, a little snark adapter, which is a cool little gadget designed by a fellow Banjo Hangout member. And uh, for those of you who are familiar with snark tuner, those are great little tuners. I actually own a Peterson strobe clip. It's a strobe tuner that clips to the peg head, and it's a great tuner, but uh, it's a little more fragile, a lot more expensive, and to be honest here, the accuracy of this snark I, f I find is just as good for general purpose tuning as the Peterson and I, I managed to snag one of these tuners for eleven ninety nine off the internet as opposed to like fifty nine dollars for the Peterson. So, but the only thing I don't like about these types of tuners is obviously you have to always clip them on your peg head and then you have to reposition the tuner so that you can see it and it kind of works but if I need to tune the banjo I feel like the tuner's in my way and it just kind of looks weird I think to have a tuner hanging off the end of my peg head. Now years ago there were some tuners there was a tuner made by Whitman called the Whitman Mini Tuner and I had one and it died on me and then they quit making them and, and there's no way to really service the tuner because it's just an electronic chip. And then there was another tuner called the Stealth Banjo Tuner which was even smaller than the Whitman but what was so cool about those tuners is they mounted on the banjo pot assembly right here on your hooks or you could stick it on the head if you wanted to which I didn't like but I always tried to mount my stealth tuner and my Whitman here but since they no longer make those tuners and they're not serviceable uh, I went and bought the Peterson clip and I liked it but it was kind of fragile and I was afraid it would get damaged so I bought a snark well you can try to clip the snark onto the hooks of your banjo somehow or onto a, a bracket somewhere, you know, but it just doesn't stay very securely. So along comes a music nut who's James Thomas on the Hangout, and he devised this little gadget for his um, snark tuner. And if you're familiar with the tuner, you can see it's kind of like a, like a daisy, looks like a stem of a daisy the actual head of the tuner itself is easily removable. That's just a rubberized cup and that ball is like a ball and we call it ball and socket joint snaps inside there so you can remove the mounting hardware and this is really the tuner. So what James came up with was this little clip and you can see from the video this one's snaps over a hook from the side and then this one will find the adjacent hook and it will snap over it this way and it has a little molded ball and I think this is probably made out of Delrin or some kind of nylon it's really tough really good high quality so that little ball on the end of the attachment gizmo if I can do it with Pixel snaps very securely onto the snark so now you've reduced the size of the snark from all this to something that will clip on your banjo. So I'm going to change my camera angle here and I'm just going to show you how easy it is to attach this. And the only concern I had from this attachment gizmo when I looked at it on the thread on the hangout was that when I put my banjo in the case, this is my RK36 by the way, when I put the banjo in its case I like to take my leather strap and fold it over and, and kind of weave it around here so I was afraid that the pressure of my strap would press against this yellow button which is the power button I didn't want the power being on all the time which will obviously drain your batteries but once I installed this snark clip adapter I found that the snark is very easy to remove it takes you all of about half a second to just snap it in place and once it's in place it's really secure so it has just enough grip to do the job but if you need to remove it like to weave your strap across it's easy to do that means it's transportable to more than one banjo if you have lots of banjos you can just move this from banjo to banjo when you play them and as a side benefit of this not only does it look better not only does it hide the tuner you know because if the banjo is turn level you notice the snark disappears and from the back the snark disappears you know so 
it's it's stealthy looking, but I have found that for my banjos, having the snark mounted here actually helps the the banjo to tune better as far as the snark goes, so the vibrations don't have to travel up and down the neck to get to the tuner. They come right off of the tone ring, right off of the rim, right off of the pot assembly itself. So I, I find that the snark actually responds a little better for me. Of course, yours may vary. But I just thought it was a, a great little gizmo. And for me, somebody who doesn't like to have tuners clipped to the peg head all the time, and I have really good hearing. I can tune by ear really well. But let's face it, I don't care how well you can hear in noisy situations for amateur to pro. It's really nice to have a tuner sometimes um, to cut through the ambient noise and to isolate the sound of just your instrument. Some tuners in noisy situations tend to pick up the sound from the air around you, which makes it really impossible sometimes to hear if you're in tune or not. So having the stealth type tuners that mount on your brackets is always a great idea. So now I have a pretty inexpensive snark tuner that works great. And with that clip that James designed, Snaps right on your banjo, stays there very securely, looks cool, works great. Thanks for that product, James.